Welcome to Simply Fun's How to Play Zone to Zone, a high strategy game where players try to be the first to move their pieces across the board into their target zone. You can play zone to zone with two to six players, ages 12 and up. Zone to zone helps develop spatial reasoning skills as players envision the different movement options and how they affect all the pieces on the board as they progress toward their target zone. Zone to zone also helps with probability skills as players choose which of their pieces to move based on their chances of advancing into their target zone or blocking an opponent. The starting position setup changes according to the number of players. Refer to the rules for setup options. For a four-player game, each player takes nine pieces in the available color of their choice and places them on the game board like this. Players take turns rolling the dice and moving their pieces into the target zone while also trying to block their opponents from doing the same. The first player to get more than half of their pieces to the opposite side of the board in any of the same positions as they started in wins the game. Moving your pieces. On your turn, roll both dice. Each die represents a separate move option. You may choose the order in which you want to use the dice roll. You may only move along the lines etched into the board and cannot change directions within a single move. You may not go forward and back, and you may not transition from lines to rings or vice versa unless your piece has stopped at an intersection first. Count every space, including those occupied by other pieces. For example, if you roll a 3 and a 5, you can move one piece 3 spaces and another piece 5 spaces. Or you can move one piece 5 spaces and then 3 more spaces. If you are moving the same piece, you may only change direction between the moves for each die. You must move the full amount of both dice on your turn. Any of your pieces can be moved as long as they are not trapped or prevented by a barrier. In the rare instance that there is no way to complete both moves, you miss a turn. Barriers A barrier is created by any three pieces that are stacked together. You may not place a fourth piece on top, and you may not move past a barrier. Barriers apply to all players. Use the Legend card as a quick reminder for traps and barriers. Trapping You may place your piece on top of a single piece or two different colored pieces to trap them. The piece or pieces underneath cannot move until the trap is removed or changed. Two pieces of the same color stacked in one position create a pair. Pairs cannot be trapped, meaning a third piece of another color cannot be placed on top. A pair is not considered a barrier and may be passed. You can trap a single piece of one color with a pair of your own. How to free a trapped piece On your turn, if you are involved in a trap, as the trapped or the trapping player, you may roll the dice and instead of making a move, change one trap by switching the order in which the pieces are stacked. Your turn then ends without moving any pieces unless you have rolled doubles, in which case you may roll again and make a move or change another trap. If your piece is trapped by a pair, then it can only be untrapped by rolling doubles. Pairs may not be trapped, so the piece that you untrapped must be moved with your next roll of the dice. If you're prevented from moving due to barriers or a pair you cannot stack on top of, then the piece must be moved at the next available opportunity. An opponent can also choose to untrap your piece by placing their own piece on the bottom of the stack. If the opponent uses their doubles roll to untrap you from under a pair, you're forced to move that piece with your next turn or next available opportunity because pairs may not be trapped. Rolling doubles. If you roll doubles, you get to take your normal turn and then roll again. You may also use doubles to untrap one of your pieces and then roll again. If your luck lasts, there is no limit to the number of doubles you can roll and play during your turn. The center position. Only one piece may occupy the center position at any given time. This includes pieces of the same color. A piece in the center position gains two unique movement options. Option 1. The piece in the center can move immediately to any other position on the board, provided it is not occupied by a barrier or a pair. Using this option, it's possible to use one die to land on the center, move to any position, 
and then use your other die to move to the center with another piece. Option 2. The piece can be left in the center for one full round. This prevents other players from occupying the center position. After you complete your next turn, including any extra moves earned by rolling doubles, the piece must be moved to any available new position. The first player to get more than half, in this case five, of their starting pieces to the opposite side of the board in any of the same positions as they started in wins the game. Sharpen your strategic thinking and plan your moves wisely, playing zone to zone.